Hi everybody, it's Melissa. Welcome to my channel. I'm glad you guys came back for another little planner review. I got the vendor spec. If you guys um, watched the video where I was talking about where I ordered one, I had ordered and originally ordered a custom one and I wanted it in the pink. It was the, it's called Parme Pink or Parm and it was going to take so long to get it because you know mail being super slow and everything anyway so I decided just to go ahead and cancel that order and I got one of the um, touch me's which is a ready-made one that they just they can ship out right away and it got here very quickly uh, like within a matter of a week or so so I was actually very surprised because they're coming from the Netherlands so that was a good deal so anyway I have been ordering you know planner after planner right now um this was not a cheap planner but at the same time it wasn't like crazy expensive either compared when you're talking about real leather planners i think if you get one of this this is in the personal size uh they call it the standard and um if you get one of these they're like i think it was a hundred and i want to say 129 which is basically the same thing that I paid for my um, or Estelle's so which are also real leather but you know they haven't been around as long as vendor spec has um, Petra who you know runs vendor spec she's very communicative you send her an email and she works with you to get you exactly what you want it uh, especially if you're doing a custom made which I plan on doing one day that is my next I want an A5 custom and with those you get to if you'll go on the vendor spec site you will see they have so many options in colors different kinds of leather materials everything of uh, things that you can add to it of course the more you add the more expensive they get um, but this one like I said this is a personal size the leather is like crazy soft I let my husband you know I made him touch it last night because he's just like yeah it's just a planner I don't understand why I get so excited I'm like for the same reason you get so excited when you catch a fish which you know to me is completely boring but my point is we all have our thing this is my thing so this is oh gosh I forgot what they call the color they don't have a lot of options right now um, in colors the a5 touch me's are completely sold out the only colors they have left are this one and two others they're just you know limited what they're making right now and I don't know if that has anything to do with the corona or what but anyway this is it's still beautiful it's a oh my gosh I don't even it's kind of like a mushroom color that's what it is I've been trying to put my finger on it that's what it reminds me of it's a mushroom kind of color it's not taupe it's not really gray it's like a mushroom and so nothing is special or about this this is exactly how they come with the exception of the inserts I did put some inserts in there haven't really decided exactly what I want to do as far as setup goes um but I just I want to put stuff in there just so you guys could see um, you see you get two pin loops one on each side are you guys in frame oh man it just I can't get this thing to do wide angled kind of things but here you get a pin loop there pin loop there you also get secretarial pocket which I've got little stuff in there already you get take this off pocket here a little pocket there and then you get the zip pocket which is also gusseted so you can really actually actually get some stuff in there and then because a lot of people carry these as wallets I um a little bit too big for a wallet for me of course you can get the one the little pocket size and that would be perfect but then the rings are very large so they're very generous rings I think they may be 30 mil rings think that's what they are and then you get bukus of little pockets in the back so tons of pockets that you could scoot stuff in all the way goes all the way to the top and then another secretarial pocket and then also you get a big flat pocket back here 
you can put like documents in there what well, just whatever you want to uh, some people if they think the the leather's a little bit too soft they'll stick like um, things in there to add kind of like a stiffener if you order this custom made you can order them uh, with stiffeners in side so that you know if you want it to not be quite so squishy squishy if I didn't have all the stuff that I have in there you'd see how very soft and pliable it is I mean very very soft um, when I get my A5 I'm not sure when that will be but when I do <laughs> I definitely am going to order a stiffener inside be, just because it'll be so big if if you've ever had a big planner an A5 if it's not if it's very very floppy it's kind of hard to um, for me anyway to maneuver with so I will like a softener inside of mine definitely still haven't decided on the colors and materials I want I keep going back and forth uh, definitely would love to have gold rings all of that costs extra though so when you start adding those things on I think for the customs the a5 start at like $212 and just go up from there from what you add and how you customize uh, if you add gold rings I think it's an additional $22 um, stiffener stiffeners I don't think they charge for so mine that I would like I'm just I will get it without the back pocket because quite frankly I don't want the back pocket in one that big that would be huge um, so I would probably just get it the only add-on thing I think I will get would be the gold rings because I do 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 love the gold rings okay so anyway back to this lovely as you can see I've just stuck some stuff back here for you know decoration purposes these are um, stickers that I got out of the Michaels planners anonymous spots they're really super cute and like I said these are just for decoration purposes for the most part to make it look cute I put my little thoughts in there and the little bow then I, of course I've got L right there in the front if does my voice sound rather scratchy today it feels scratchy so L right there you are my sunshine now this came out most of these inserts came out of a Webster pages uh, personal size planner I got so I made this this is you know I've been on my vellum making you know center it a little bit better I'm still getting used to the position of the camera on the iPad so okay so this I made I love making vellums I love doing that it's so much fun this is stuff that came from Carpe Diem uh, this came out of the uh, the faith packet that you get from Carpe Diem so it's got a gratitude praying all of that fun stuff and I'm going to be using those um, just another this Hobby Lobby along with LOL Carpe Diem this is another one I made um, my stepdaughter went just had my little grandbaby uh, she loves horses she had three up until recently and she sold one of them um, because with a baby it's going to be you know a lot to keep up with but she loves horses and I kind of did that as in honor to her put a little horse and I put some feathers in his um, his mane there this is uh, some more stuff from the Webster pages inserts I'm not really sure how they want you to use these these are like a day in the life but look how teeny tiny so if I write on it it's going to be big letters <laughs> not going to be that teeny tiny because your girl can't write that small but they're still cute so I did leave them in there uh, another Carpe Diem Webster's Pages and this is monthly goals and that kind of thing and then you have a um, menu planner on the back which I never use because I never have a clue what I'm cooking from day to day more Webster's Pages little notesies Webster's pages and I love this it came with a, a this kind of envelope so you can use as a cash envelope or whatever and I'm actually starting a cash envelope I'm actually putting money in there it's not set aside for anything in particular it's just going to be a cash envelope just so you know cash another one of my babe you got this that was Hobby Lobby 
a vellum I just cut into a bookmark and then this will start my month I uh, bought these off Etsy oh another ant trying to get to my coffee gosh I hate those things okay so this I bought from Etsy last night and this was difficult for me to print off I can't remember the shop that I got it from because I'm stupid that way guys I should write these things down before I even make a video but the way it's set up is for double-sided printing and if you I didn't know this until I actually started printing them before I bought them if you don't I don't like to print out the whole thing that comes with the packet because if I'm not going to use it it's a waste of paper so I usually try just to print out the things that I need like okay we're halfway through the year so these were 2020 data so I just want to start with May and just do May and December and then not print off any of the note sections um, but unfortunately the way the file is set up you have to print off every single piece um, at least of the calendar part because she, she did them double sided they're mismatched per page so I'm like oh so I'm gonna have to go back and do that and you know which is aggravating because you know I don't need January February March or April but it's, but it looks like I'm gonna have to do that so anyway I printed these off I did I just did them dated because I have tons of inserts I mean tons of inserts that are undated which is good because then I can use them whenever I want to but I like them dated simply because my handwriting is not the best and so when I go in and write my numbers it kind of looks messy so it looks a little bit better when I get them like that and then these are just the weekly these are undated I didn't buy oh dated weeklies these came with the uh, Webster pages inserts so I just decided to use those and so you can see what I'm talking about about my handwriting not the best so I decorated a little bit I only did it for next week and then the end of the month I didn't do it for the previous two weeks I've got all that documented as you can probably you know you know um, I think this was Hobby Lobby I think I think Carpe Diem uh, and these are just more my dated printers I mean excuse me dated dated painted bebop a boo boo okay let's try it again dated monthly pages okay so I put these in here to separate the the months this came from the um, Hobby Lobby Hobby Lobby packet and so and then so that's all I've got in there right now it's like I said I'm not quite sure how I'm going to what the finished product will look like I just got it yesterday and so I was playing with it a little bit last night and you know what my brain has not been working at all past few days I have been going through uh, let's talk chronic illness for a little bit shall we I have been having a major fibro flare um, so I have not been getting a lot of sleep because I have been in a lot of pain and so the brain doesn't work when that happens you know you get brain bog brain bog there we go <laughs> brain fog which is basically your brain bogged down okay and so I just can't stretch your sentences or <laughs> anything it's not been fun it's not been fun at all so anyway she's soft she's beautiful I absolutely love it it's very lightweight that's kind of cool even with all these inserts it doesn't weigh hardly anything so that's nice too for someone who has you know horrible arthritis and carpal tunnel and everything in her hands um, that's very 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 nice and just to comp show you um, size wise this is my or Estelle personal wide so I tried to go through this the size difference of them so basically your personal wides are a little bit shorter but longer same size rings but you can see laying the vendor spec on top of it you've got a lot more room out here with the Aurora Estelle than you do with the vendor spec so that's the difference in your personal and your personal wides the personal wides look a lot bigger they're not necessarily a ton bigger they just you know, more of a square than a rectangle <laughs> that's what it looks like on the outside basically if you can look at that you see that's kind of almost a square shape versus rectangle shape <laughs> 
so that's that's the best way I can describe it because you know hey <laughs> this is what it is I do they sent out my um the other one I ordered the Aurora Estelle it's in a blush color the uh, uh cherry blossom and it's a B6 so that's going to be interesting to see the difference in it and this one size wise so you got a5 personal wide personal and now we'll get to see what a b6 actually looks like that's going to be cool and the color oh she's beautiful she's a beautiful color now leather wise um the vendor spec is much softer much much softer not to say this isn't this is beautiful pebbled leather which is one of my favorites but this definitely has texture i wouldn't necessarily call it pebbled but it's textured and it's it's much softer um the edges as you can see are all sewn i'm hoping i'm showing you guys so it has sewn edges on all of it there's a little bit of a stiffener at the end of this as to where the estelle auroras have the painted edges so that's the difference there so as far as long term you know which I don't see these really it being an issue for a while but as far as longevity this would eventually start to peel over time as to where if you have just regular sewn edges it will not your and they're very nice sewn edges too it's like I said I but the this one and the other one that I've got both came from the oop sale they I you know they sent me they send you pictures if you buy from the oop sale part of uh, Aurora Estelle they will send you pictures before they actually ship ship the product for you to um approve or not so if you don't want it they will try to find you another one you know that kind of thing I didn't even look at the pictures that they sent me on this one I just said send it and I have yet to find anything that I consider um, an oops. It to me looks absolutely beautiful and perfect. Um, they sent me the, I did look at the pictures of the blush when they sent me last night. The things they were pointing out, I could not even see. I could not even tell that it was a defect in any way, shape or form. So you get these and you get a percentage off. Uh, they have three tiers. They have a 5% off, 15% off and a 30% off. Of course, the, um, you know, 30% off would have more visible defects than the 15 or the 5. I went mid-tier with the 15% off. And like I said, I haven't seen, I haven't found anything that's bad. <laughs> but that speaks well of their quality control department because obviously they take it very seriously. Very seriously. All right, guys, that's just what I wanted to show you today is this. And I'm going to try and get off here and, and get my brain to functioning once again. I did order a regular, uh, um, a do, 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 an iPad, it's, you know, extender thingy for my tripod. Um, because right now I, I'm literally tying it to the, to the tripod so it doesn't fall off so that I can film. <laughs> So got, everyone said that it looked good, that the film quality was good last time. So we're going to keep doing this for a while. And uh, yeah, just, you know, that won't be in. Everything is running so slow right now. Even with Amazon, it drives me crazy. I have Prime, but Prime now, instead of it'll be there in two days, it'll be there in two weeks. It's like, hey, all right, whatever. <laughs> you say so. But, you know, I'm of the opinion that right now it's definitely time this country opens back up I am some I am a constitutionalist and I do not like people's liberties being taken from them at the same time I do understand that we do need to take precautions to not put others in danger but you know and I'm not saying do one thing or do the other thing I, I you know just from the information that I have gotten from people that I know in healthcare. I used to work at our local hospital so I still have friends that work there uh, uh, both of my 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 brother-in-law and sister-in-law both work in Washington State right outside of Seattle in hospitals um, and they all say the same thing that 
yes, there's a virus, obviously, and people are getting sick, just like, you know, and, and it seems, but they are, they both, they all say that they think that way too much has been made of it, and that uh, it's not nearly the pandemic that uh, some people would lead us to believe. So I'm at this point, at the, again, I'm like, yes, we need to take care. We've got to, you know, stay in and, and, and this and that. But now I'm, the more I'm just looking at it and the things that I'm seeing on the news and the stories coming out and the people I'm talking to, it's, to me, is just looking much more political than anything else at this point. I know people, I, I personally only know, I, I live here in Oregon, you know, which in Oregon, Washington, we're supposed to be some of the epic centers of the whole thing um i only know two people who actually got the virus both of them were elderly and one of them got it from a va hospital but they also rec recovered and um, they're doing fine um and that's it that's all i know so you know yes i think people should be uh cautious um especially if you're in a high risk community and people who are you know not should you know be respectful of others who may be but that's no reason to shut down a country and you know you're not protecting people if they can't feed their families that's my thing you're not doing that by trying to take away their freedoms and their liberties that's not protection um, I would rather die of a vi and this is, sounds terrible and I, I apologize if this offends anyone or if it, you know because I value everyone's lives very 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 much but I feel like you know life is only worth living if you have the freedom you know to live it I don't want to be locked inside my house and told by officials that I can never go out again unless I have a mask on and have to check in at Border Patrol, you know, to go across the state line to, you know, visit family or, you know, can't go. I live here so close to the beach, but, you know, can't go on the beaches. That's just, that's not life. You know, that's not life. So it's time that we work together and get this country back open, make sure the American people are taken care of. And, you know, do what we got to do. So, anyway, just saying. That's just my rant for today. Oh, okay, it's time for more coffee. <laughs> I love you guys. Um, I do want to do a little something, though, of some, of a little bit of encouragement. Um, let's see. Whoopsies scripture writing today i am doing the scripture writing this month last month i did the psalms with nikki drake from crazy simple truth this month i am doing um sheree mcginnis and have heather baxter's scripture writing and bible studies and these are the scriptures from today for we live by faith not by sight that's second corinthians 5 7 and then by faith we understand that the universe was formed at god's command so that what is seen was not made out of what was so what is seen was not made out of what was invisible i think that's what it says anyway i could have miswrote that that's hebrews um 11 3. faith is priority faith is so important because with faith we know that god is in control so we don't need fear those two things cannot coexist so cling to your faith, trust in God, do not be overcome by fear. And that way, you know, ask God to reveal, you know, okay, Lord, what is it you would have us do during this time? What is the best for our families, our communities, and our country? And then operate on that because he'll lead you. He'll direct you. All right, guys. Love you so much. Have a blessed day, and I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.